can do this. So for instance, oops, that's squared. Can we factor like this middle problem rather quickly? Yeah, like we learned how to raise the powers here. And then here I say, oh, there's four terms, so I should probably do factor by grouping to make two binomials. So I have x squared plus 3 times x squared plus 2. And then here I can factor this out. Wait, what happened here? Did I factor that correctly? No, I didn't. Did I? Factor out a 2x. Oh, that doesn't work. Just got to factor out a. Uh, that's a 2x minus 3, right? So I can only factor out a what? X? Squared. Yeah, there you go. There, there. Oh, okay. So I have an x squared plus 3 times 2x minus 3. So now what you can see here is the x squared plus 3s divide out, and I'm left with a x squared plus 2 all over a 2x minus 3. Now, my x, I have only one restricted value, which is a 3 halves. Right, because you set 2x minus 3 equal to 0, you'd get positive 3 halves. But why don't I use this one? Why doesn't this have a restricted value? E not because it got divided out, but what happens when you solve x squared plus 3 equal to 0? You get i. You get i. You're dealing with complex numbers. We're not going to call i a restriction on this domain. It's only for real numbers. So yes? So what you found out, can you not find out if this 9 doesn't have x value next to it? Where are you factoring a 9? I factored out a 3. You can only factor out a number that both divides into 6x and negative 9, uh -huh. which is only a 3. Anybody have any questions here?